What's up everybody, David here, and today I wanna to show you guys one of my favorite things, one of my favorite features about Studio One, and if you are a, a guitar player or if you're tracking guitars inside of Studio One, this is something that you absolutely need to know. Now, I'm referring to putting a tuner on the input so you can easily check the tuning of your guitar at any time. Now, why am I telling you this? I just had a friend that, uh, that got Studio One, and I was showing him this feature, and it just got me super excited, and I was like, you know what? I need to make a video because everybody needs to know this. You might already know it, but if you don't, well, in, in a few minutes, you will. Now, what am I talking about exactly? So if we open up the mixer on Studio One and you click on this inputs on the left-hand side, you have the option to put inserts on the input so you can record through that insert into the DAW. It's just like using a piece of hardware. So you can go here and add in a, you can add in the fat channel and record through a compressor into the DAW and it will print through that compressor. It's literally just like tracking through a piece of hardware. So that's really cool. I don't personally use that much. What I use this for is the tuner I'm referring to. So if you go to your inserts and then it's gonna be under the PreSonus folder normally, uh, somewhere in here, and you just add the tuner right here. So you can use the full version, the full plug-in version of the tuner, but another cool thing about Studio One if you just click on it, it has a little mini tuner here in the insert. So basically what's happening is your guitar is going into the interface and then into the computer through the tuner and then it's being recorded. The tuner does not affect the sound of the guitar. I haven't noticed any difference recording through it or not recording through it, but it's just amazing and it's so handy because if I wanted to check tuning, all I have to do is just open up this input section and it's already right there. So if I grab a guitar over here. I'm gonna grab my ATX because it's close by. Um, if I just start playing, we're checking tuning. That's it. So you can tune your guitar, and then once you're done, just put away the mixer and you're good. Or just close this input section. So this is absolutely invaluable to me. While you're tracking, you, you need to be on top of your tuning. Sometimes, depending on what you're playing, this guitar is in drop G, so I usually check tuning every couple takes or so, and it's just so easy to have this always right there. Usually, I'm tracking exactly how you see it here. So I'm tracking and looking at the edit window, but I also have the tuner always available, so I can check tuning instantly, and it just really, really speeds up your workflow, not having to plug into something else and just having it there all the time. And what I've also done here is I've worked this tuner into my template. So anytime I use Studio One with my template, which is 100% of the time, the tuner is already set up and ready to go. Now once again, just a little quick recap, all you have to do is open up your mixer, click on this input section, and then insert the tuner in the inputs. And then if you just click on it once, it'll open up the mini version and you can tune right here without ever having to open up another plugin. Now guys, I know this is really simple, but I cannot, I, I can't even begin to tell you how valuable this is for me. I use this every time I'm tracking and it just saves me so much time having it right there, ready to go whenever I need it. And it's not even for just guitars. You can use this for vocals too if you if you need to know a note or something. I don't know, I, I, I use it for guitars, but you can use it for other things too. Um, but just having it here all the time is so, so awesome for me. And I don't know if other DAWs do this, they, they probably do, but I don't really care. Studio One does it and I love that. When I switched from Sonar, this is just one of those features where I was like, holy crap, how did I live without this? But anyways, that's all for you today, guys. I just wanted to give you this quick tip. Once again, if you are a guitarist, if you're tracking guitars, you need to be doing this. You need to put this in your template. It saves you so much more time and it's just an awesome thing to have in your workflow. And on that note, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. There's new videos every single week and you don't wanna miss any content. Once again, thank you so much for watching. My name is David and I will see you next time.